Hello, queens and kings. It's Janus, your codes, color queen antique jewelry. Uh, like the title says, this is a, like a humongous haul. Thousands, thousands from estate auctions. These were auctions and parts of them were estates. States of people that unfortunately have passed. Fortunately enough for them, I saw the beauty and I hope you think you'll see the beauty too. So this one was a house that I will deal with again. Absolutely. I mean, I hate to say it, um, did contact them afterwards and tell them where they had made their mistake. Um, it wasn't a mistake they made in accounting. It was a mistake they made in a listing. And I spotted it. And unfortunately for them, a sold is a sold. And that's what they told me. But if you know what you're looking for, and if you watch my channel, that's part of it. I educate you on what to look for. So I did have to go through this because it was a new auction house and of course everything was branded to the gods. I do love the tin and I'm sure one of you will love it too. Oh, sorry about the noise. You won't believe the money that's in this little case. Well, I think if you love jewelry, especially fine jewelry, you will. Now, uh, right off the top, 18 karat gold. Is she not a beautiful cameo? You see how that pin goes out. You know what that is. You know she's Georgian. She's absolutely fabulous. Even her safety is 18 karat. You love Georgian. I love Georgian. How about a Georgian morning ring? Now, why is this one rare? Well, first of all, it has a hand painted portrait. Secondly, because it's got a secret locket. So this was either a lover's piece. I've seen them both as lover's pieces or mourning pieces. There's no hair in it, no DNA, but there is a locket. I wish the photo, I think, honestly, I haven't opened it. I think maybe the photo was in there and just didn't survive. Well, it wouldn't have been a photo, it would have been a painting back then, wouldn't it? They had no photography. So the only way they could capture your image is if you were painted. Looks like a big strapping young man. Uh, I'll have this XRF'd because the auction house had it at 15. I suspect it's probably between 15 and 18. 15 didn't come around really until, or it could be 14. Didn't come around till later and very early in the Georgian period, 1855, I want to say 15 carat. So it confuses me when they say 15 carat for Georgian. It really wasn't. It was Victorian. Now, this was sold as Russian. I 
I'm inclined to believe that it was handmade and Russian. If you could see, if you could just see the incredible detailing and the silver work on this, they look like pearls. Now to me, that looks like Lily of the Valley. I hmm, wonder what that little hole was there for. Did it have a dangle? Was it a necklace and there were more of them? I don't know, but the enamel work is cornflower blue and it's perfect. Well, this is not antique, but it is vintage. Art Nouveau in style, of course. Natural pearl. That looks like a natural pearl as well. Sterling silver. Stained glass plique azure. Beautiful. It's a brooch and a pendant. Oh, if that weren't antique. Thousands. Thousands. Oh. Beautiful and gray tart. Tart padlock. I saved that piece for last. Now I've only ever seen these black bands worn as mourning pieces. I thought it it is marked for nine carat and it's rose gold. I thought it was very unusual and I wondered had someone added a nine carat gold Egyptian scarab. Maybe they just loved black. That's a fabulous antique scarab. I mean, you could put it on an Omega. It's a slide. You wouldn't have to keep it on this black belt or black rose grain ribbon. But it is the antique ribbon that it was attached to. You can see it was slid onto there, but then sewn on probably to keep it in place. I just thought it was totally unusual and had to have it. Of course, I love anything Egyptian. Now, I'm, I should look the name up again. That I think it's Maurice Glick, G-L-I-K. They're called shaker bracelets. Now, when I saw this piece at auction, I'm going to show you how they displayed it. They displayed this side. They did show all sides of it. Those are rose cut diamonds. And that is a sapphire crystal on either side, like a watch crystal, faceted. And those are diamonds. Those are baguette diamonds. It's filled with baguette diamonds. So, during Georgian times, they had these, they were like a, they were called a casket piece. And you could open and close them, but they would close securely. I've seen them as pendants, I've seen them as clasps, I've seen them as bracelets, and I've seen them as rings. And they were, it, I swear it kind of like where origami owl and those places got their ideas from, especially this person. Now, Originally, this top was blackened. Uh, you use liver of sulfur to blacken the chains. That's 18 karat gold, the other chain, and the clasp, all clearly marked 18 karat. This is sterling, sterling and 18 karat. Now the sapphire bezel is set in 18 karat. And you can see it's got rose cut diamonds all the way around it. 
and and the top of it where this would have been blackened listen i don't know modern jewelry but i know i have a near identic type of memory when i see jewelry i remember it so i up and sort of picture this uh, bracelet retails for more than five thousand i'm not sure if even if it was pounds or dollars it might be dollars i don't know but it's called the shaker and i'll insert the photo of of the bracelet and i can tell you this is the bracelet that i was worried about and contacted them about because I thought it was, if it's an estate, then, you know, they're losing out. I didn't pay 10% of what the value of the bracelet was. Now, there's a huge markup on retail jewelry, let alone antique jewelry, retail jewelry. There is a huge markup. Well, in most places, not in mine. But and they said what a sale is a sale. Sometimes we win, sometimes we lose. And I know that, you know, because this is my business. And sometimes I win and sometimes I lose. Now, I'm going to pause the video for a second and grab the next box. Or actually, do I have to pause it? I don't because I can just move all of these Move all of this treasure out of the way carefully because we have the box open. We'll grab the next one. There are three boxes. So I'll probably break this up into two videos. You can't even see that that's the top of it. We have an auction on Saturday, February 3rd, and I want you to see these pieces before we go to auction, although I have said not everything that I have bought will be at auction. I couldn't possibly show you everything that I bought at auction or that I bought recently or that I have, because literally, I have a jewelry store. Because I'm a dealer, and that's what dealers do. Now, if I already had a couple pieces here, or in my collection, then I could sh see showing it all at one time. I don't consign. This is, these are all things that I bought. Yes. <clears throat> Peanuts. Yuck. Well, that's going to be a mess. And I've dealt with this place before. They do brand, but certainly not as bad as many other places. Let me see that. There's nothing on that. Nothing on these. Whoa, okay. I'm glad I bought this. I was a little little worried about it, but now, now that I see it, I'm not. Nice antique box. We love antique boxes. Oh, I remember this piece. And it is what it is, what it is, what it is. Ooh, baby. that and let me pull some more out we can just put them tag side down we can put this tag side down now we can just give this a we can lock the tag off Yeah, we're definitely going to do two, 
two openings. There's just so much. <gasps> Mama. Yeah, my audience engagement time is um not great. I guess you all get bored or you speed through it. Maybe, you know, life's busy. I understand that. Just know if I watch one of your videos, you'll get a full watch. Okay. There we go. Now, we need to back up. But we will be removing them as I show them. Let me make a space for everything. All right. I think I took the tag out of this. This is the original case. I can't wait to look this company up. Ooh, bonus hairs. Okay. And when I said it is what it is what it is, rock crystal quartz. Look at the length of the strand. Sterling silver chain. Sterling silver clasp. All fancy rock cut. Rock crystal quartz. It's ice cold on my hands, which is good because it's warm right now. Let me give you a quick length on it. Oh. Dana Ann, what did I do with my, maybe not right this second, because I don't have my tape measure, but hang on, let me hold it up to me, and I'll tell you how long it is. Looks like 30 to me. Yeah, I'm going to say 30, but I will put it in the video, the length, have the original box, rock crystal quartz, all on sterling. Oh my God. Okay. It's a good day. It's a good day. No, is my ring size right here? Yes. I swear, I can't see if I had a pound for every time they miss sell the size on a ring. Yeah, I figured it would be. It didn't look. They listed it as a 10, but it can be sized. It's an antique buckle ring, gold buckle ring. But the way that it's designed, it can be sized. It's about an eight and a half. Pretty, pretty, yes. Now, of course, when I can find some fantastic items in a lot, you know, as in a, you know, a lot of items, I'm going to because I can pay so much for the lot and then sell them out separately. And this was very quirky, this lot. So I had to have it. Little antique locket, chased, like a keystone shape. Of course, Victorian morning. That is a jade figa. Sterling silver, Albertina. That's Edwardian. Isn't it pretty? Look how chased out and beautiful those bars are. And the snake with the tassel. Now, I'd buy, I love anything hand jewelry. This is Victorian, it's sterling, and it's a posy holder. I mean, it looks like she had maybe that little, 
this is Victorian, and this is Edwardian, so it wouldn't have been this, but it would have had a little silver charm hanging from it. But it's a posy holder. Posy holder brooch. Love, love, love it. A little picture locket. A little sterling picture locket. Aw. It's like a little pet locket. I bet you there are some ones. Oh, yeah, precious pets. I wonder. Ooh, I hope their ashes aren't in it. Now, again, this was... Um, an estate someone's estate I'll do it off camera and then show you all that is a charm and that's French that crown and these will go right into my heart collection for the puffy heart bracelets that I make so that's that now Yeah, this one was very unusual as well. There were a lot of bits in it that I love, so that's why I bought it. I love filigree. Quite often have it. Oh, that's fine filigree. That looks Italian. HS925, so the post probably 1950. Just drop something down into my drawer. Luckily, I had that open. Oh, filigree butterfly. That's been gilt. See, now filigree, there are so many countries that do filigree and that have done filigree. Now, that looks maybe Middle Eastern or Turkish. Don't want to take up too much time with all of this, but there's a ton of sterling silver filigree. Oh, look at that bow. Is that gorgeous? Love it. Another butterfly. Beautiful bracelet. Oh my goodness. Look at that can of tail work. Oh, oh, that's beautiful. Love, love, love. Another butterfly. How fabulous. Articulated fish. Little red crystal eyes. An elephant on a crystal charm. Goodness gracious. They must have taken, that is, um, Wedding, a wedding cake bead and a silver teapot. That is more of a pendant. I thought, oh, well, that would be great for a charm bracelet. Well, maybe that big giant charm bracelet we have. More butterflies, more flower. Oh, it's a flower and a leaf. And that is probably crystal and sterling a fob. So, yeah, that was a pretty great lot, I'd say. It is a mix of sterling and, well, it's my, it's the auction. There's a mix of sterling and gold. Okay. Now, this I bought because, not that we have a ton of men, unfortunately, because I would love for us to have more men in the chat. I wish they were, these were diamonds as well. You know, this, how they say iced out. But it's sterling silver and they're white spinel. So, you know, spinel are going to look as good as a diamond does. And so they do. It's got a big chunky lobster clasp on it. This is a great piece. Have, holy heavy. Heavy, heavy. I thought I'd get it for, you know, the few men that we have that watch. Now, these I had to buy because they're Art Deco. 
um, I'll have to clean them thoroughly. And I saw that there were a couple stones missing. But they are sterling silver. I'll test them for rock crystal, but they're probably just crystal. I mean, honest to God, who, how, how lux are you? Do I wish they were diamonds? Absolutely. They're fabulous. Wait till you see them cleaned. Now these, I love a hoop earring. Some would say, oh, you're basic. Honey, I'm not basic. Never been. If you wear a hoop earring, you're normally classic. And classy, thank you. These are nine carat white gold. And I thought just a wonderful size. Very well made. No dents or dings or, you know, and it's got that nice, easy through clasp. Not a whole lot left, which is good because we're already at 26 minutes. Now this one I had to get, had to, had to, had to. I think it's vintage, it's not antique, but I love quartz. Yellow, smoky. That smoky almost looks crystal. Rock crystal, and then a deeper yellow, which is citrine, but it is a type of quartz. I think this bracelet was, I, you know, I wasn't there at the auction. I wasn't there in person. I did this online, and I could tell it was fabulous even then. That's, I mean, you can't be shy <laughs> to wear this. Literally, that's like a two inch stone. It's heavy, it's heavy. If you can't wear anything heavy on your wrist, forget it. But this bracelet is fabulous. Those are all natural gemstone. Actually, very lovely examples. Yeah, not one auction, but two auction did vintage pleat come in. So anytime I can find pleat du jour, whether it be antique or vintage, especially animals or, you know, I love bugs. So there's that. Let me get my little torch. Oh, I've got cashmere on. My office is warm. Holy heavens. Beautiful. Again, another natural pearl. I don't want to scratch that. So, this one. This was the one that I, I bought it and I was worried. Now I'm not worried. It's a bit specialized. She's Victorian. She's a white Scottish agate. I'll have to have the metal XRF. Although it's probably pinchback. And if it's not pinchback, then it is a low carat gold. Or it could be roll gold. Like I said, have to have it at XRF. No, but she's quite lovely and quite large. And quite dirty at the moment.
Ew, a little vertigree. We'll need to treat that. Now, I used to use vinegar. I used to use ketchup. I, I no longer use either. And if you'd like to know what I use, um, just message me. I won't put it out there because I've had so many people come along, take my cleaning, and act like they're the cleaning experts. Girl, and, and didn't give me credit. No, that did not fly. Give me credit or or you won't get any. Oh my goodness, God. It's on a nine karat gold chain. It looks to be, we're gonna have to have that XRF tested too. Cause actually that looks to be a bit more than nine. Um, I got my tool out because it's a locket. These are moonstone. They're faceted moonstone. The locket is French. They said nine carat. But like I said, French it would have it wouldn't have been nine. Um, they just don't use it. They did. Did they do pieces from nine in export? Yes. But I'd be very shocked. This is this is incredible. Oh look at them! Oh my God. Plus they're old European cuts. All that mill grain work. I would say Edwardian. Now the open back I would say this was a vinaigrette. You know, when they would put oils or things for bad smells. Faceted moons, Dad. Oh my goodness gracious. I can't wait to clean this. All right, I'm getting carried away. <laughs> Two more pieces, and that's it. Oh, for now, for this video. It is only Wednesday, so we can open the other one for tomorrow. Although, I'll open it today and show you tomorrow. You know how that goes. All right, the ring, uh, again, the hallmarks are worn, so I'm going to have to have it XRF'd. But if I had to guess looking at it, somewhere between 12 and 18, uh, of course, that is uh, Freemasons. And I bought it because of the gold tassel. Because if you, oh God, I want a pair of gold tassel earrings bad, desperately. <laughs> These are 18 karat. Well, it is 18 karat. I'd love a pair of 18 karat tassel earrings. So this will be fantastic hanging off of any necklace. Ideally, a gold uh, watch chain that's been converted. Well, kings and queens, I'd say really that was enough for today. Um, let me take these pieces back out. The 
over $5,000 Glick bracelet, Russian egg, Georgian ring. Uh, I don't know. You tell me, what was your favorite? I love you all, kings and queens, and I'm so grateful and thankful that you come here and spend your time with me. I'll likely see you tomorrow with the next haul. Don't forget to leave a comment on what your favorite was. Uh, if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing and sharing this channel with your jewelry friend. Have a great rest of your day.